So again, we recognize this is arithmetic. It's linear. It's y equals mx plus b form. So we can use the sum of an arithmetic sequence is the average of the first and the last terms times how many terms we have. We can always get our first term by plugging in whatever number they tell us to plug in first. So when we plug in that 1, 7 times 1 minus 12 is negative 5. And then we can get our last term by plugging in whatever number they have on top. So a sub 35 is 7 times 35 minus 12. And the hardest part for these is just the arithmetic. I'm going to have my calculator help me. That's going to be 233. So we're going to take the average of those. So we're going to add them up and divide by how many we have and multiply that by how many terms we have. Since we're starting with the first term and stopping at the 35th term, we do have 35 terms. Note for later that is 35 minus 1 is 34 plus an extra 1. When you start off with something other than a 1, it can be tricky. So now we're just going to figure this out. We're almost there. So 228 divided by 2 times 35. 228 divided by 2 is 114 times 35 gives you 3990. And we do match our answer key, which is awesome. So that was pretty fast. If that was too fast for you, uh, go back and look at number 17. I walk you through a lot slower. And uh, 18, I walk through a little faster for more practice. Do a bunch of them, you'll get it.